Today we are talking about bottle stoppers. So there are a number of different kinds of bottle stoppers. The first are food, soda, and pharmaceutical stoppers, which are the most common. So traditionally those come in glass. This is a really decorative bottle with the type of stopper that would have been on top of it. Usually sea film is a more common color. If there was manganese in the glass, if the bottle was produced in the late 19th century, early, early 20th century, the bottle will turn more purple over time with exposure to the sun. So those purple stoppers will turn more purple over time in the sun. This is an old Maggie bottle and stopper, which would have been like a Worcestershire sauce. And then this is a ceramic lightning stopper, which is uh, somewhat commonly found on certain types of beaches, older beaches. Ceramic lightning stopper closures. This is what the stopper looks like off the bottle. But that's the attachment that it would have been when it was originally on the bottle. And then less commonly, the ones with the writings, writing on them are more collectible. So this would have been from the Virginia Water Bottle Company. The Virginia Water Bottle Company also produced a five gallon jug. These five gallon jug stoppers are not as common to find on the beach. This would have been what the neck would have looked like. So five gallon jug stoppers are a different type of stopper. And then these are the more common glass stoppers that you find. These are the purple ones that I had mentioned. Um, this is a black glass stopper, olive green, a little bit less common. And I think brown is a little bit less common also. Then you have the 57 stopper. And the Lee and Perrin stopper um, is one that you can identify by the, the Lee and Perrin's lettering. This is the bottle that that came from with the stopper still in it. Vulcanite stoppers are a rubberized type stopper. You can see some of the original seals on those. Those are a little bit less common here in the United States. They're found a little more commonly in the UK. And then wooden stoppers are also more rare because they don't often survive the elements. So perfume stoppers are something that are really popular to collect. Um, they are come in all shapes and sizes. In the back, compliments of a loan from New York are some original beautiful perfume bottles. This was actually as found on the beach, the bottle and stopper. So this shows the bottles that they come from. This is an example of a beach found stopper and the original bottle that it came from. They come in really beautiful colors. This is a, a pink depression wear stopper um, and different really pretty shapes, decorative shapes, crown stoppers. These are stoppers that are the parts that you can find on the beach, the stopper tops and the stopper stems, and then decanter stoppers. So these are large screw top decanter stoppers. This is a row of decanter stoppers, which are generally larger, while the perfume stoppers are generally smaller. This is showing uh, a small bottle and what the small stopper would have looked like originally. So these are all beach finds. This is a stopper and the neck that I found. They found they were together when I found them, so I left them like that. Smelling salts bottles often are this emerald green color, these Victorian smelling salts bottles with their, uh, this is the original stopper for this one. And then I found this stopper at one time and found the bottle at a separate time, but they they were happy to be reunited and I was happy to reunite them. So smelling salts come in that beautiful green. And this was a perfume bottle and stopper. I found them at different times. These are three different pieces that I found at different times and then glued together. So I'm, I'm hoping to find one of those original stoppers together later, but it's a beautiful color. So these are, and this is a poison stopper, the cobalt blue with the ridges that were designed so that people would, if they were in the dark, um, feel the ridges and know that that was poison, so it was not to be taken. I'm hoping to find a cobalt perfume or co cobalt poison bottle at some time. That's a, that's a bucket list. So those are some of the different types of stoppers. Definitely soda and food and pharmaceutical are the most common. There's also um, canning jar stoppers that are more like lids, but also kind of in the stopper category. 
but those are the most common and then perfume are sort of more de desirable to collect. Um, decanter, very common as well. Ceramic lightning, vulcanite. Those are just some of the different stoppers that we find on the beach. So happy hunting.